Happy Thursday, my Latin One students. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. It's about ready to get better because uh, you're going to be doing some Latin here. So uh, starting off with our bell work, uh, I'd like for you to decline a noun, an adjective that we're going to see in our story today. So filius, filii, a nice second declension noun with the adjective dulcus. So go ahead and pause this and decline these two. All right, and hopefully what you got will look something like this. So Phileus is a second declension noun. Uh, so it's going to be the us e o um o, e orum is os is. Now, this one is a little peculiar because you'll notice it is an I-U-S noun. So just a reminder with those I-U-S nouns, when the uh, put them in the vocative, um, vocative singular, uh, what you get is the U-S drops away and you get a long I. So feely is your vocative singular. All right, it's a little peculiar, so make sure you take note of that. All right, and then dulcus. We've done dulcus a couple times already. Um, just going to be uh, star is E-M-E, -E, ace, eum, ibus, ace, ibus. Okay, one of your new third declension adjectives. All right. Um, now, uh, just a reminder, you do have a vocab quiz tomorrow. Um, and I went over how it'll be set up uh, some yesterday, but uh, just a refresher on that. Um, it'll be, the material will be exactly the same as like on a regular vocab quiz. But what I'm going to have is I'll have um, a word. So one of your words, your mains um, and I'll say three blanks. So imagine on your vocab quiz, you'd have three blanks. Um, and what you will write then is mentis, feminine, and mind. Okay. Um, another example would be something like dulcus, okay, which you'd have two blanks. Um, so what you would have to write is dulce and then sweet. All right. So the material is going to be exactly the same as with a normal vocab quiz. All right. If you have any questions on that, um, feel free to let me know. Um, and once again, I am asking that you not use your book for taking this um, because the purpose of this is to help you uh, study and learn those words. Um, so please, uh, please don't use your book. Again, I don't have any way of enforcing that, but um, just going on the, the honor code here. Okay. All right, uh, moving on with our translation. We uh, translated lines one through six yesterday. Um, so today we're going to finish the paragraph. Um, so going up to line 12. Uh, so just a recap yesterday, um, just an introduction to Achilles. Um, and then you've got, uh, you know, they're fighting this long war. Uh, then he's really angry. Uh, Agamemnon took his girl, which is um, just not nice. Uh, and then we ended yesterday with Achilles called his his mommy, "Help me!" Uh, so that's where we that's where we ended. So if you would pick up and translate lines um, in Mari to the end of the paragraph, so go ahead and pause the video now and translate those lines. All right, and uh, let's take a look at what you got. So, um, in mare means in the sea, um, not under the sea. That's um, that's a Disney tune. So, uh, yeah, sorry, this is in the sea. Uh, Thetis, who is his mom, in the sea, Thetis heard him and ran to him or hastened to him. Okay, remember Thetis is Achilles' mom, all right? And she is a sea nymph, that's why she's in the sea. All right, um, Audiwit and Kikurit, both of those are going to be perfect tense verbs. The it tells you third person singular, all right? Uh, and then here is what she's going to say. Um, I understand, I understand your feelings, my sweet son, she said. 
Okay. Um, you'll notice uh, sweet sun. That was what we uh, declined in our bell work as well. Okay. Uh, tuas sententia. So sententias can mean it can mean sentences like we have the sententiae antiquae, which are um, I know your favorite thing to do. Um, they're pretty awesome, basically. Uh, but uh, it can mean sentences. It can also mean uh, feelings or um, opinions sometimes. Uh, it can actually even mean vote, um, but that would not really make sense here. So um, I, like, I like feelings in this particular instance. So I understand your feelings, my sweet son. My mom gets me. Um, that's basically what's going on. Uh, omnes Greci, uh, all the Greeks, all the Greeks ought to hold you in great honor or in great respect. Okay, so Omnes Greci, all the Greeks, debent, ought, and then Habera, you can say to have, or you can also say to hold. Uh, would work well here, to hold you in great respect. Okay, um, continuing on, uh, for, that's the enim, for, without you, they are not able to conquer the Trojans. Okay, so Trojans, they're going to be your direct object, all right, in the accusative. Uh, Winkera, and uh, previously, habera, both of those are infinitives, and those are what are called complementary infinitives. And remember, those are just infinitives that fill out the meaning of a, of a verb. All right, moving on, kogata hike. Think these things, or you could also just say, think about these things. Okay, kogata is going to be a lovely imperative. Our imperatives are used to give commands. So think about these things. If you flee from this war now, there will be small glory for you, but a long life. Now, I um, just want to talk a little bit about this sentence here. So this is a condition, um, and we've seen these before. Uh, you'll notice fugies is actually future. Um, so literally, it's if you will flee. Um, but in English, a lot of times what we do with that condition is we translate that future like a present. So you can just say if you flee um, now from this war. Uh, and then the next part here... Um, how I did it was the, the literal way, there will be um, small glory for you, but a long life. You can also translate this, um, you can say, you will have small glory, but a long life. Okay, that is also an acceptable translation. Um, Tibby here is what's called a dative of possession. You don't need to know this right now, but... Um, that is what the usage is for Tibby right here. Okay, so you can either translate it, you will have small glory but a long life, or you can say, there will be small glory for you but a long life. Okay, so either, um, either way is, is fine. Uh, Eret there is the future of soon. Okay, um, and then another condition here. Uh, and it's working the same way. This is the, um, you've got all future tense verbs here. So if, however, you remain in this place, you will find great glory, but you will lose your life. Okay? Um, so again, all those verbs are future uh, glory and life are your direct objects there. Those are uh, in the accusative. Okay. Um, so that is, uh, that is the choice that is laid before Achilles. Um, he can either have a short life but have um, eternal fame and glory, or he can have a long life but kind of, you know, go off and live in uh, obscurity, all right? So that is that is kind of the choice uh, choice before him. 
and I think you probably all know what he's going to choose. Hmm. All right. Uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Remember, you've got a vocab quiz, so please make sure that you are are ready for that. And uh, hope you guys have a great day. Love you all. Talk to you later.